What's up everybody? This is Reed with Import Outlaws. Welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna to be talking about some of the circle track stuff I have going on. Got my Integra here, has a K24 in it. Uh, and then I got my red hatch over here. It has a B20 with a B16 head on it. This car, you know, it's uh, it's been my life for a long time now. One of my really good friends gave it to me and I actually won the biggest race of my life in it. So it's kind of been one of those things I haven't been able to get rid of, something I've always held on to. And um, I kind of bought this Integra over here just to test this K-Series stuff. I'm actually gonna swap the K-Series out of this car into the red hatch and then we're gonna use that engine on a project later on down the road. So pretty good setup, I'm looking forward to it and uh, let's get started. All right, so we got the B20 out of the hatch, making room for the good old K-Series that's gonna be going in there. Uh, went pretty smooth, didn't really have any issues. Um, I did make one critical mistake. I couldn't find the cup to go into the transmission that I usually put in there to keep the fluid in it and whatnot. I meant to go find it, forgot to, started pulling the engine out, and I created a big old mess. Look at that. All over my brand new floor, um, I haven't had the shop six months yet and already made a gigantic mess on it like this. I, I've been so good about not doing stuff like this, um, but I'm gonna have to clean it up. Uh, there's the, the B20 that came out of it. Um, had a nice little AEM fuel rail on it, a B16 head like I was talking about. Uh, by our rules, we have to run a stock intake, uh, stock type throttle body. Uh, LS transmission bolt up to it. Uh, it's a pretty simple setup. It has valve springs, uh, Supertech valve, valve springs, and uh, Brian Cryer Stage 2 cam in it. Uh, built bottom end, 13 to 1 compression, uh, Eagle H beam rods, and it runs on 110 fuel. So it was a stout little motor. Uh, really good for, you know, the time we had it in the car. This motor probably has four or five seasons on it now, and it's uh, always ran like a dream. Um, like I said, I won my biggest race in it, and um, I mean, this thing, uh, this thing's a little powerhouse. It's gonna work good on the project we're gonna use it in. Um, I mean, you guys, you guys are definitely like that one. So I might get to clean this mess up. Well, yeah, that sucked. Uh, that was a big old mess. So got everything cleaned up, tied up, wrapped up, and uh, I'm getting ready to call it a night uh, tomorrow. Pull the engine out of that thing. Uh, get the K-Series ready to go in the hatch over here. Uh, there's gonna be a lot of stuff in the engine bay we gotta change. Um, I mean, fuel system's different. Um, harness is different. It's all gonna come out of that Integra. So, um, as most of you know that have done K-Swaps before, you gotta take that mount off and put in an aftermarket one. Uh, those of you that don't know, now you do. So, we're gonna drill that out and um, yeah, get ready to put that, that mount in. And then after that, should be able to go ahead and sit the motor in here. So, all right, I'll see y'all tomorrow. I almost forgot to tell you guys. Um, so like I told you earlier, you know, I've had this old girl a while and she, uh, she has a nickname. So it might not be a very good one, uh, <laughs> but uh, it is her nickname. Uh, she's been kind of known to have a little bit of a, let, let's just call it performance anxiety. Um, so stage fright here. Yeah, she's treated me well. So I'm gonna try to treat her well, give her a good heart, and uh, see what she'll do. All right, it is day number two of K-Swap in my hatch. 
today we're going to pull off that passenger side mount to make room for the aftermarket mount that you have to run with the k-series stuff um, you know there's a couple ways to do this you can either use a drill bit that's made for drilling spot wells off but uh yeah we don't have that kind of stuff here so i'm just going to use good old trusty drill bits um you know i'm not not professional by any means we we don't claim to be professionals on this page but uh you know, I just play one on YouTube. There you go. That's a good slogan. We might, might keep that one. So, uh, after I get this mount off, I'm just gonna, you know, take a wiring harness out, do some work on the fuel system, just try to get this engine bay prepped and ready to take that swap out of the Integra and put it into here. Got the wiring harness out, got the fuel system apart, uh, making room for the C85 fuel filter and whatnot. So the next step is gonna be taking the motor out of that thing and sticking it into the hatch. Um, I'm gonna try to make it a pretty smooth and easy transition, go directly from that car, uh, set it into the engine bay of the hatch, try to get it all buttoned up. I know I gotta fit that motor mount and whatnot, so. Uh, yeah, I gotta do that. This is my first case swap, so hopefully it goes pretty smooth. Um, like I told you guys about the Integra, I, I bought it already case swapped, so uh, just bought it for the parts so I could put it in my hatch. So, um, yeah. So this is where I took that mount out. Um, didn't make too much of a mess of it. I've used that drill bit method a few times to take off welded mounts and stuff like that on these dirt cars. Probably wouldn't do it on a, uh, a car that I'm trying to kind of make a show car and something I might try to show off, but uh, but it does a trick on these things. So um, right there and right there, I had a, a cross member bar that went there and I'm, I figured I'm probably gonna have to take it off. I'll reinstall it if it'll fit with the K header and stuff that runs right through there, but I don't really think it will. So I went ahead and took it off just so I don't fight it when I go to put the swap in. Um, I am going to be cleaning up some of this wiring and stuff like that after I get the motor in. I just kind of don't know what runs where right now. Um, this is where all the, the ECU and everything terminated before. So I'm going to probably rearrange this some too. Uh, try to mount that ECU a little bit better so it doesn't vibrate around and get knocked around because sometimes these, uh, these tracks can get pretty rough. So yeah, that, uh, that's pretty much going to do it for today. Um, Tomorrow I'm going to start getting that engine out and try to get the, the engine in the car. Well, we aren't getting a whole lot done in the shop today. Uh, we're actually getting hit by a hurricane Dahlia right now. So just getting a lot of rain at the moment, but we're kind of on the front side of the storm. So hopefully it won't be too bad. It's supposed to be getting hit by the eye about eight o'clock tonight, but I don't know, we shall see. But we got some friends and family down there in Florida. They made it through. All right, luckily, uh, for those of you that don't know, we're actually from Florida. We moved up to Georgia a few years ago, so 
luckily all of our families are all right and uh just kind of thinking about those guys on the west coast who got hit pretty hard um just kind of hanging out right now and i'm sure as you guys can hear got my little buddy kate out here just kind of chilling out and uh he's enjoying playing in the the water on the porch and stuff so um say hi kate say hi but he's just having a he's having a good old time out here but kind of underwater right now it uh it's flooded out here the last few hours so uh as you guys can see you know kind of got some lakeside property now so ditches are filling up over there by the shop you know it's all all underwater so i don't know we uh we're just gonna hang on and hang out and hopefully stay dry well we've still just been getting a lot of wind and whatnot uh -huh. our yard's pretty much underwater now the winds you know it uh they haven't been too bad yet but we're still about four hours from the eye of the storm hitting us uh it's starting to to whip around pretty bad uh some areas of my yard I mean, as you can see it's ankle deep in water right now um i don't know if uh it keeps raining like this we're gonna need an arc here soon but i know the back side of my property it's totally underwater um it uh it's, pretty, it's been pretty bad with the rain so far so i can only imagine how much we've actually gotten um i know uh i know probably uh probably at least five or six inches almost but yeah it's starting to starting to pour the whole front of the shops underwater and stuff but luckily no downstream yet or anything but uh I feel see the wind is whipping through now, but um, yeah, I mean, we're just holding on, holding on, hoping for the best. So, um, I mean, I'll keep updating you guys, and you know, we'll see how uh, see how we make through this. Well, it seems like the worst of it is pretty much past us now. Uh, luckily, you know, like I said earlier, just a lot of wind and rain, nothing outside of that. So, um, the storm's actually on its way up. Uh, to South Carolina and uh, it's gonna shoot back out in the ocean after that hopefully just fall apart but keeping those people down in Florida in our prayers uh, I know there's a couple areas that got pretty jacked up by the storm surge that, that this thing brought so um, I don't know just thinking about them because we've been through a lot of them been through not having power for days and stuff like that fortunately we uh, fortunately we're not in that situation so uh, just had you know a lot of water stuff like that but probably in about three years it'll all be dried out after uh how much rain we got but uh yeah everything's all right so things will resume over there tomorrow um and we're gonna try to get the uh the case swap done on the hatch so stay tuned for that and uh catch you guys later what's up everybody it's day number three of case swapping my hatch uh today we're gonna be taking the k24 out of this car Sticking it down in there. So, um, yeah, we're gonna try to get all the mounts done and everything, and then we're gonna let her eat. So, looking forward to it. This is the, the first case swap I've done. Like I told you guys earlier, um, I bought this car with case swap for that reason, you know. Um, I wanna stick it into the stage fried over here. So, yeah, I mean, hoping it goes pretty easy. I've already had the motor out of this car one time. Uh, when I bought it, it was actually blown up, so I had to build a build a new motor for it so uh that's kind of why i'm holding on to this this motor but yeah there's the uh the k24 should be you know just pretty quick to get that the actual engine out um this is the the mount right here i was telling you guys i'm gonna have to take out of this car and put it into the hatch that's why i cut out the motor mount that was in there so uh that actually you know it'll go right right over here where where I took that other one out. So, uh, I mean, obviously it sits a little bit more forward because of the case swap, but yeah, I mean, once I get this actual swap done, you know, there's gonna be some things I gotta do when it comes to setup because uh, unlike the B-series stuff, you know, the engine actually sits on the passenger side of the car 
and then the transmission is on the driver's side. So I don't know how much of a difference that's going to make when it comes to handling and stuff, but um, I mean, we'll get it on the scales and, and see, but uh, I might just have to move a little weight around and make it, make it work for me. But I don't know, there's a lot of guys running the K-Swap already. I feel like we're kind of behind on the times, but um, you know, it, uh, we're going to try to get it, get it done, but should work out for us, but only time will tell. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get started on this thing. Um, fingers crossed everything goes smooth because I do not want to fight this thing, but here we go. All right, well, the K-Series is sitting on the floor right in front of me. Uh, the Integra now has a big old hole right there where our engine's supposed to go. Um, while I got this engine out, I'm gonna take the opportunity to check some of these pulleys and stuff because I had a bad squeak whenever the cards start up. Um, it'd go away once it got hot, but I'm thinking it's either a, a old belt or the, something needs to be changed out. Hopefully it's not the water pump because I, I really hate doing that, but... Um, you know, got to go through and I'm going to take a couple of these clamps and stuff off where we've had to fix leaks and stuff like that. So uh, just kind of clean it up, you know, dress it up and get ready for its new home. And then, uh, yeah, it went pretty easy, actually. I mean, I, uh, I honestly fought this thing less than getting the B-Series out of the car. So, you know, I'm, that's another win for the K-Series stuff. So, you know, this might be a might be a good move, but... I might get uh get working on that mount, try to get it out and uh, start putting it in the hatch. Um, as you guys can see, there's a couple spots where this thing's welded in here, uh, a couple on the back side as well. So I'm gonna have to cut those out and should be able to get this thing out of here and get it in the, the hatch. So hopefully it won't find me too bad. Some of those are in a bad spot to get to, but uh, I'm gonna take the cutting wheel to it and hopefully get in there, pop them right out so I can get it uh, over here. But yeah, the reason, you know, I know it's not necessary that you weld them in, but uh, the reason we do is because some of the tracks we run on, you know, they get really rough and uh, stuff like that, you know, can, can break pretty easy. So I'm gonna weld it back in, give myself a little added security and then um, should be good to go. Finally got that thing out of the Integra. Uh, that thing just did not want to give up. So it fought me from start to finish. Uh, some of those wells were just in really bad spots and um, I finally got it though. I, I got most of them. There's a couple I couldn't really get to. So I just had to wiggle that thing back and forth till they pop loose. So, um, you know, after I did that, it come right out. So luckily I didn't really tear up the mount too bad. Uh, just bent one of the years on it, but I just bent it right back and it's good to go now. So. I got it sitting over here in the hatch. Um, it actually picks up off of these bolts right down here. That's the factory location for one of the lower torque mounts on the B and the D series stuff. So uh, once you line it up with those, you mark your holes up top here. Uh, as you can see, I already drilled that one, but I got to drill that one. And uh, I marked out some spots where 
I'm gonna have to come back and weld it. Um, so when I have the, uh, the mount out, I'm gonna clean those areas up and that way once I get it bolted back in, I can tack it in and we're good to go. So um, yeah, I'm gonna get started on that. And then, you know, after that, we're gonna drop this motor in here, so. All right, the mount's in there. Got all welded up and the bolts tightened down on it. So hit it with a little bit of spray paint and, and you know, now it's the best looking spot on the car. So um, all I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm gonna wrap this header with some exhaust wrap because when I did run the Integra that one time, I noticed that it got pretty hot on my feet. So hopefully the wrap will kind of help cut that down, but that's all we got left to do before this thing goes back in the car. Well, I have good news. The hatch officially has a case swap in it. Everything went pretty good overall. Um, I had to loosen up that front mount and that trans mount just to give myself a little bit of play to get the bolts through the actual chassis part of it. But I mean, every, other than that, everything went good. So, um, you know, I'm gonna call it a night. I'm freaking exhausted. I really haven't been getting any sleep the last couple nights, so. Uh, that's going to be it for this episode. Uh, keep an eye out for the next one. Um, I mean, we'll be buttoning this thing up and getting it fired up. Got to do some stuff like the fuel system and swap out the, the fuel in it because it has 110 race gas in the hatch right now. So I'm going to do all that on the next episode. And I really appreciate you guys taking the time to, you know, watch this. And uh, if you would like and subscribe because, you know, doing that kind of stuff goes a long way in helping out our program. So. Uh, it allowed me to do more stuff like this and allow me to bring you guys some, some good content to watch. So I appreciate your time and I'll catch you guys on the next one.